Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on hydrostatic forces on surfaces. So in this video, we are going to solve a problem about horizontal plane surface submerged in liquid. Now what is the characteristics for this horizontal plane surface when it is submerged in liquid? So if we observe each and every point on this uh, horizontal plane surface is at equal distance from the free surface of the liquid so we can say that the depth of center of gravity point and the depth of center of pressure point are at equal distance so h dash is equal to h bar now i will read what is the given problem figure shows a tank full of water find total pressure on the bottom of the tank weight of water in the tank Hydrostatic paradox between the results of first and second if width of the tank is 2 meter. So this was the given question. Now let us first understand the what is the given diagram. Now if we observe this is the shape of this tank is given. Now this shape is the combination of two rectangular shapes that is this is the first shape and here is the second shape at the bottom. Now the dimensions are given. Now if we observe the given data, the depth of bottom of tank from the free surface of water. So here is the bottom of tank for which we have to find out what is the total pressure at the bottom of the tank. So what is the length? So length is 4 meter and width is given that is width of the tank is 2 meter. So with this dimension that is 4 meter by 2 meter this is the bottom of the tank and on this bottom what is the total pressure is getting applied by the liquid in this tank or water in this tank that we have to find out. So here I have shown the separate section for the bottom of the tank that is this is the length of 4 meter and width of 2 meter. Now what is the depth of bottom? So this is the bottom that we can see, we can see here from the side view and what is the total depth of bottom of the tank from free surface of water. So here is the free surface of water. So we have to measure this whole distance that is 3 plus 0 0.6 that is 3.6 meter. Now width of the tank that is 2 meter that is given in the question and then the length of tank at the bottom that is 4 meter. So what is the area of the bottom? So here is the cross section of the bottom of the tank. So this is the length and this is the width. So we have to take here area of the bottom. That is this is the rectangle shape. So how to measure the area? That is length multiplied by width. That is 4 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 8 meter square. So this is the area. Now we have to measure what is the total pressure that is getting applied by this water on the bottom of the tank. So what is the formula? So we know the formula F is equal to rho G A H bar. Now H bar means what? So H bar is the distance of center of gravity point from the free surface of water. But as this bottom is horizontal and the center of gravity point that is the G as well as the center of pressure are at the same distance from the free surface of water. So this h bar is this whole height h bar is equal to this height from the free surface of water to the bottom of the tank. So we will say here rho that is the density of water we know that 1000 kilogram per meter group g 9.81 area 8 and h bar 3.6. So when we calculate this we will get the answer that is 2,82,528 Newton. So this is the answer of first question. Now we will move to the next question that is to find out the weight of water in the tank. Now if we observe this tank is the combination of two shapes. So this we will say this is the first shape and at the bottom this is the second shape. Now what is the weight of water in the tank that is rho into g into volume of the tank. 
Now here what is rho that is the density of water. So we know that density of water is 1000 kilogram per meter cube where G is equal to 9.81. Now how to find out the volume of the tank. So we will first find out the volume of this first rectangular shape. Now if we observe what is the length for this first rectangular shape that is 0 0.4 meter. Then what is the height? So height is given 3 meter and what is the width? Width is 2 meter. So we have to take volume is equal to 0 0.4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2. Plus we have to again add the volume for this second shape. Now again length is 4 meter, height is 0 0.6 meter and the width is 2 meter. So volume of the second shape that is 4 multiplied by 0 0.6 multiplied by 2. So we have to add these two volumes. So what is the answer here? 1000 into 9.81 multiplied by here in the bracket 2.4 plus 4.8. So when we solve this we will get the answer 70,632 Newton. So this is the weight of water in the tank. Now we will move for the third question that means we have to decide about the hydrostatic paradox from the question 1 and 2. So what is the first question that is total pressure F at the bottom of the tank and the second is the weight of water in the tank that means we have to compare these two. So when we compare this we, we observe that this weight of water in the tank that is 70,632 Newton is much less than this total pressure F applied by the liquid on the bottom of the tank. So here 2,82,528. So we can say that when this weight of water in the tank is less than this total pressure at the bottom then this is the hydrostatic paradox rule is getting followed. Now we will understand what is this hydrostatic paradox. So suppose we are considering here the containers of different shape with same base area and those containers are filled with liquid of the same height h. Then the applied force by this liquid on the base area is exactly same. So here the shape of the container is not getting affected by the applied force. So here is getting total pressure F that is applied by the water at the bottom. In the same way here the shape is different but this shape doesn't matter what is the applied force F at the bottom of this tank. So this is the rule for the hydrostatic paradox and here the answer is th because of weight of water is much less than the total pressure at the bottom we can say that here is the concept of hydrostatic paradox is getting followed.